Hello and welcome back to Raising the Robins Season 4 Episode 3. Right hot on the hills in recording terms after that AFC Wimbledon game last time, uh, obviously on Football Manager 2019. Uh, just get that in there of course, uh, just in case you didn't know uh, from the, the title and whatnot. But yeah, we had AFC Wimbledon last time, wasn't great, wasn't great, not so much a result. The result wasn't too bad, it was the performance. We, we, d we defended well for 80 minutes, it was that last minutes that really judged the game go back and watch it um, it wasn't a classic but you know it's always worth a watch but yeah so today we've got well hot in the hills of one rival game uh, we've got another rival game against uh, Sutton United at home this time so it'll be a good crowding for today hopefully a lot of money coming in from it but more importantly three points on the board they're rock bottom in the table I think we did look at it last time I think they are rock bottom Dover might be around there maybe nope Sutton uh, rock bottom there 19 minus goal difference so we should Really, despite everything, be winning this game. But let's cut to the lineups. Uh, we'll see what we're going with. So here are the lineups. We are sticking with four ball two, but we have come back to the one from the last season. We switched to it in a few games, as I mentioned. We switched to it in the Wimbledon game as well. And it's, mm, I think, in this game is one we we can, we've got a chance of winning. We should be on the front foot here. Direct counter attack. This something we might need to switch to if we need to. We need to bring them out a little bit. But I think. Uh, we're going to give it a go. I mean, I'm trying to move away from the 4-4-2 to a degree. I do like it. It's been very successful for me in both my last time I call short and safe. But <clears throat> we're playing a lot of 4 3 and those sorts of things in this in this uh, division. And it it's possibly a reason that we're uh, struggling a little bit. But we're going to drop a passionate talk. So I've been doing that a little bit more recently and it seems to be getting a bit more out. They seem to like the... Uh, Passion, sort of John Sutton kind of team talk. Hopefully, I guess I should know that'd be more assertive or aggressive, wouldn't it? I guess. Um, we're going to send assistant to the little pre match chat as we get underway here. And this is going to end any second. Uh, it's the first time it's Sutton. We've not seen a shot from us at all. No, no highlights, obviously. Yes, this is the first one. But no chances from us. And we play the ball, and the striker just runs away from it. Ah. And they fire just wide. It doesn't seem to matter what we do, they're just the long balls up to the strikers, they just don't seem to be aware of what's going on, they just seem to run the other way. Archie Brown, Seller, great ball whipped in, Asal, Kerry, can we shoot a goal from distance ourselves? No, they go wide of course, we're not as clinical as the other every other team in the game. It looks like we're going to go into half time here at 0-0, um, they've had a lot more chances than us, we haven't really done anything, anything at all really actually. And. What do we need to do? So let's have a think about what we can do tactically. So they're playing the 4-2. Uh, the four, two. The four, no, the 4. 4-1-2-2-1, four, two, two, wasn't it? So they're very central. So what we need to do is we're going to push these guys a bit further forward. Face back a little bit. I'm wondering. No, I don't want to do complete. What do we want to do? Drop the line back a little bit. We are push the line forward a little bit more. We're going to create a bit more space in there. In possession, we're going short. We're going to go a little bit more direct. Uh, we are going to focus play down the wings. Going to hit early crosses. I mean, the, having the wingers on support kind of does that anyway, but we're just going to emphasise it because in this division they don't seem to have the intelligence to do exactly what you want to do. I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to counter press because we're not match up shape for shape, so in theory it gives them a chance to uh, close down positions that aren't. If we just regroup, we're going to have an overload still happening where we might get some people pressing that wouldn't normally press. We are going to just do it quickly, take roll it out. Let him do whatever he wants to do. He'll probably just boot it along now anyway. And see if that makes any difference to this game. And not really. If we get a throw into Sutton United here in our half, if we can nick it back, that'd be good. Uh, I, think, I think it's Beauty Man. I think they've got their good name. And he's pinged one off the bar from about 30 yards. So I've just changed a couple of roles as well, so we're hitting early crosses now, so we want some strike in the box. The deep line forward doesn't really work. So we've put Kerry as a poacher and Corona as an advanced forward. See if that has any kind of impact on what we're doing. 
We do have what a throw in here. Capone drops it in. Oh, he's gonna lose it, isn't he? We should pick that back up though. If you can look left, there's acres of space if you can find him. Come on, find it. There we go. Out to Osu. Cuts inside, finds the seller. I mean, that's not really to anyone, but we've got a sale there. Push that a little bit further forward means he can get on the end of that, which he might not have done before. Davis Seller, we know he can strike him from distance. He finds Carey, dribbles his shot just wide, and 65 minutes gone here. We're still not really seeing anything happen. I'm going to go attack in as well, just to try and give ourselves a bit more of a chance in this game. It's a free kick, Osu. I'd love, I'd bet I'd rather Seller be taking it because we know he can do it, but. Gonna switch straight back down to positive. Don't need to go on the attack anymore. But, I mean, that might be what we've got, got us playing a bit better and brought the goal out. But Ossie, great free kick. And that's 1 0 to Cole Shorten. I'm not going to bring the, the, the players back in the wide positions because it is what is causing us to maybe have a bit of joy at them, you know, stretching them down the side as they as they manage to get down our side somehow. Um, we are going to do one thing tactically, actually, though. We are going to make. Callbacks a little bit more defensive, well, very, very much more defensive, so we don't get caught down that side. Um, I'm going to change to no knots at centre back, just going to get it out. Um, we might even take a striker off here at this stage. Chrome's like a good game. We're going to bring Tom O'Connor in. We're going to just put another one in midfield. CM on defend. Gonna put Kerry up there. He's gonna play lone striker now. He'll be an advanced forward on attack. And yeah, we'll see what, what that does. We've got to defend this corner first of all, but it doesn't go through. Our subs wipe it out, which is absolutely fantastic. And what we come out to about seconds left. This should, should be the end of it, hopefully. As long as it doesn't give him a chance to get the ball in. It doesn't, that's the final whistle. Not vintage, not a classy performance, not convincing but the three points on the board against the bottom team. <laughs> it's just still some work to be done on what we're trying to do. But, I mean, we stepped up to the division and we're outside the bottom three at, what, we're only in October, <laughs> but we're outside the bottom three, which we're not expected to be uh, coming in the season. We're up to 17th. We were 16th at one point, but Macclesfield must have did something. Maybe got, yeah, got a win or something. They lost, but it's the goal difference, probably, so I'm not too sure. Maybe Boston jumped ahead or something. Boston, oh, Boston beat them, so it must be Boston that jumped ahead. Yeah, so six, 15 points from 14 games. Four wins against Sutton, Solihull, Dover and Boston. So, Solihull, who do you say? Solihull, who are, yeah, 20th. Dover, who are 22nd. Boston, who are just with us in 15th. And Sutton, who are bottom in 24th. Uh, three draws against Leighton Orient, who are fourth, York, who are third, and Barnet, who are 14th. So the draws are actually very good results. The losses then are excellent. Wild. Wild's not a great result. I mean, they've been to the end us. Tranmere, yeah, all kind of mid tables. Cheltenham, yeah, playoff positions. They're going to the bridge. They were playoffs in that 10th. Aldershot, 6th. Hartlepool, 7th. So the teams that are sort of around here expect to be beating us are beating us. The teams around here, actually we've got a couple of draws in here as well. Uh, and the teams around here are the teams that we've beaten. So that's, obviously there's not enough of them, so that might not be enough to keep up. We have to get some points elsewhere, but it's not going too badly. So if we look at the next episode where we might come back to, uh, it's going to be in November, I'd imagine, if we get back to schedule, so I've got a couple to play. Um, Harringay Borough around us, or maybe Southport will very much blow us. If I can get to there, maybe we'll go for that one. Uh, how much do we get in that? It's 2,000 in the crowd there. We've got 7,000 of the FC Wimbledon games. That's, we should get a share of that as well, which is nice. Actually, we'll have a quick look at the finances, actually. It has popped up. Uh, yeah, we're making profit this month, so that's very, very nice to see. Um, we need to get this up before we start moving up divisions, or even in this division, if we want to bolster what we're doing, let's start spending some money to survive in this division. We might even have to go professional. I'm not quite sure that, what the ramifications are on that. I don't know. I think it's things to do with contracts and stuff like that. We've got most of them tied down now anyway, so don't get pink and freeze. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back for that episode next time. It'll be Haringey Borough or I think it's Southport, isn't it? Uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, please drop a, drop a like down below. Drop, drop a sub while you're here as well if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell for uh, updates on when my videos are released. And any comments on anything at all? Um, 
off these, what, three episodes now? First three of the nine that are out, sort of a third of the way in. How do you reckon we're going to get on in the season? Let, let, let me know in the comments below. Do you think we'll survive? Do we push on? I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done tactically and stuff, so it's kind of up in the air. It's up in the air, it's still up in the air. But, yeah, until next time, uh, we'll come back for one of those games. I'll see you later. Take care.